you guys welcome back to my channel so I am in my new filming setup I had mentioned in my last video that I had some furniture coming that um, was going to be incorporated into my filming setup so I'm super excited it finally arrived and it's all set up I'm actually still in my master bedroom though my bed is just right over here so we're just on the other side of the room just right in front of the window we'd actually been wanting to add a chaise right here in this space in front of the window since we moved in and we have lived in our house now for just over five years so it took starting a YouTube channel for me to finally finish getting our bedroom furniture um, so that's awesome and I'm super excited I think this is probably a better setup to be able to film for you guys I can try on shoes for you guys have things laid out I think it's just a better setup so I'm super super excited to have this all set up um, it definitely feels more professional for my videos um, so I did uh, purchase these two items from Wayfair the chaise lounge is called Called the Yarmouth chaise lounge and I did get it in the color beige the fabric is almost like um, it's almost like a linen type fabric so the table is called the rolling wood pedestal table and I also have it in the color beige so I'll just link those items down below if you guys want to take a peek at them so this video is going to be about bag charms and scarves so I'm going to be showing you guys a few bag charms that I have and how I would recommend that you guys can use them um, and also I'm going to be doing a little demo on my new Hermes Twilly that I got and I'm going to be tying it on to my Speedy 30 here for you guys. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Natalie. I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. So if you are interested in those videos, please consider subscribing down below. I would love for you guys to join my channel. So the first bag charms that I'm going to be showing you guys are these two little fluffy poofs. Um, I do have two of them, however, I've only been using the one. Initially, I had ordered um, this larger one, and I ordered them off of Amazon, so they're really inexpensive. I didn't realize this one was going to be quite so large, so when it arrived and I did put it on my bags, I put it on my Neverfull as well as my Speedy, and it's way too big. I just don't think that it looks good. It's not proportionate enough to the bag. Even my Neverfull that is a larger bag uh, it just looked really silly so I haven't actually used this one yet but I do think it's a perfect size that if you want to add this one on your keychain and wear it with your keys I don't use it on mine because I do have a Louis Vuitton six ring key holder uh, I don't have free keys where I could just clip this on to the loop but if you guys do a really cute idea would be to attach it to your keys place your keys inside your bag but then you could have the charm actually the poof actually sitting on the outside of it but this one is really big so it is a little bit too big for this crossbody this is my Louis Vuitton favorite crossbody in the MM size um, but if you were to use a small smaller size, attach it to your keys again, place your keys inside the bag, but have the poof hanging on the outside. I think that looks super cute. And then you always know if you have a larger handbag where your keys are going to be inside your bag. So these are super fun. These ones seem like they're really great quality. I've had them now for a couple of months. They're super, super soft. That was actually another reason why I didn't want to return this one because it is so soft. I don't know. I just didn't want to part with it. It's so soft and fuzzy. I'm hoping that I can find a use for it. I know it's a silly thing to want to keep it for that reason, but I think it's fun it's so cute and soft so this poof in my opinion looks really really nice on this size of bag I think it has a nice poof to bag ratio uh, this is my Louis Vuitton speedy 30 uh, so just to give you um, an idea of how big the bag is now another idea for having the poof on the bag is to add a second charm now the two items that I'm going to show you perhaps it, when you first look at them you wouldn't think that they actually are bag charms but these are my Louis Vuitton on clay or key pouches and I actually have two of them so my bag is in the monogram I have one in the monogram and then one in the damier Ebene. you can either match up canvas for canvas and coordinate it that way which honestly looks so beautiful but what I like doing is actually mix and matching my canvases so I like to hang the damier Ebene on my bag um, on my monogram bag so I'm just gonna attach it right behind the poof and I'm just attaching these on the bag handle rings so it goes on super easy it's got a little hook 
enclosure there. And I think it looks really nice just to layer them like that. I have seen some that are shorter and I do think it would be best if it was just a little bit higher. Um, for me to do that, I would just have to loop it around and clip it just a different way and have it sit a little bit higher. But this one just has a little bit of a longer look, which I still think looks nice. I think that they just coordinate really well and I think it's a really stunning um, idea to have on your bags. Bag charms aren't for everyone. I love them. I think they're a super fun idea. They definitely dress up your bags and add a little bit of personality. So the next bag charm I'm going to be showing you guys is actually a piece that I got for Christmas this year. Um, I showed you guys this bag charm in my what I got for Christmas this year video. And this is the Louis Vuitton Blooming Flowers bag charm. So this one is actually in the monogram and it has a pink color as well. I'm assuming it's like the rose ballerine color and a gold tone uh, chain with it. So it looks really, really nice on my speedy. So I'm going to pop it on uh, my bag here for you. Now this style actually is intended to drape in front of the bag. I have seen it on backpacks like the Louis Vuitton backpacks where it actually hangs uh, more vertically. Hangs, I believe it's like on the zipper poles that people are attaching it to. That way it looks super cute too. The only unfortunate part is with this style because it does have a hook on each end. I don't think it looks right when it's hanging completely vertical. Um, Louis Vuitton does have the vertical bag charms though where everything hangs in the right spot. Those ones are really nice and they're actually a little bit um, less expensive than this piece would be. So I am going to put it on the bag to show you guys what it would look like. This one is probably my favorite bag charm right now. Okay, so that's what it would look like, just draped in the front, attached to the handle. Another fun idea, I love this one. This one obviously has a higher price point than the Poofs would, so if you are looking just to start off small with bag charms, see if you like them. I definitely would recommend that you start with something inexpensive, um, like the Poofs, or they do have other bag charms that aren't necessarily luxury brand, but that would be designed in this sense that you could try out as well. Another way to decorate your bags is scarves. Either scarves, there's twists, Lilies from Hermes, bandeaus from Louis Vuitton. Any of them are super beautiful. They don't have to be luxury. Find a scarf that you enjoy looking at that makes you feel happy when you see it and add it to your bag. I researched on YouTube through tutorials and uh, just researched how to properly tie my twilly. There's definitely a ton of ways that you can tie it. There was a couple of ways that really stood out to me. Um, one way is to completely wrap the handle, one of the handles, with your bandeau, twilly, or scarf. Um, so I'm actually going to be demoing that for you guys today. And the second way that I really like is to tie a bow on the other side. That way to me, honestly, is more complicated there seems to be more steps to tying the bow than um, and actually having it look nice in the end than to wrapping the handle. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to wrap it around the handle. So that's totally going to be the way that I'm going to be wearing it first. So with the Hermes Twillies, they are tapered at the ends. I've noticed that the Louis Vuitton bandeaus are straight at the bottom. So it doesn't, they're not necessarily like as finicky for tying it as a Twilly would be. These ones, I want it to finish where the cut, the angle is at the right, um, is on the right side. And it also says Hermes at the bottom. The Louis Vuitton ones say Louis Vuitton as well. But this one is going down on an angle. So I want it to be facing on the right side. So you're actually going to be starting it in the opposite direction that you may think. Um, you're going to be placing it in the back with offering just a little bit of length. You don't want it to be too, too long because then you're going to be short on the other side. So hang it um, on one of the sides that you're going to be starting on. I find it easier to start on my left side and you're going to be tucking it in behind um, with the cut going the opposite way. Now when it finishes, it's actually going to finish on this side and pointing um, towards the left side of the bag. So start wrapping your handle. Uh, my suggestion would be to leave the first loop a little bit loose because you are going to be needing to tuck that twilly end inside and do the other wraps as tight as you can. Now I find with the Twillies, it is a little bit shorter. I haven't actually wrapped a bandeau around, but with the tw this one Twilly that I have so far, um, it's not very long, 
So you don't need to wrap it multiple times in one area. Honestly, it's just one wrap and done. Move on to the rest of the strap. I have seen it too where people actually do two twillies or two bandeaus and wrap each straps. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that for a bag with it's a two handle top handle bag. I don't know if I like that look. Um, I think that on a bag like my Artsy, I think it would look really, really nice to have just that beautiful braided handle wrapped in the twilly. So I might eventually do that. Okay, so. I'm at the end as you can see, so it really doesn't take that long to wrap it. Now I'm going to take the last wrapped loop, open it up a little bit because I actually need to take the tip and feed the end through. Okay, so then you're gonna do the same with the other side, the side that you started on. Just loosen up that first loop wrap, and again, you're gonna take the end and feed it through. So just give the ends a little tug when you're done, and that just ensures that it's not gonna unravel and loosen on you, and it's give, and give you a nice, tight, finished product on the ends. So that is one handle wrapped, and I think that this is honestly the only way that I would wrap it. I think that that looks really, really nice. I would not go and get a second twilly to be able to do this side. I think just the single handle looks really, really pretty. So let me know you guys what you thought of this video if you're interested in videos like this um, If little tutorials are helpful for you guys. I do have a bunch of um, Packages clothing items that is arriving just at the beginning of next week So I am going to be doing those videos for you One of those videos is going to be another Aritzia haul, which I'm super excited about doing that for you guys um, I also have clothing from another store coming and another piece from another store as well as a pair of shoes that I'm going to be showing you you guys within that haul is going to be an item that I was able to get off of my uh, 2020 wish list so I'm looking forward to be able to show you guys that and remember to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom so you're notified of all of those upcoming videos I'll see you guys in my next video bye